Hi everyone, Dave from Daily Tech TV. Now you all know that I'm very pro SSD. All of my machines have got an SSD in with the one exception and that is my Mac Mini. My Mac Pro in my editing room has got an SSD upgrade. My uh, MacBook Air obviously uses similar to SSD but it uses flash memory. And when I had my MacBook Pro that got the SSD treatment as well. And prices on these SSDs are really coming down. So they're very, very affordable now. And this question from ProChris or Triple X Pro CRH 15 XXX, but I'm going to call you ProChris, uh, is about SSDs. So his question is what is the best SSD for read write speeds? Now they do vary a lot. When you buy a lower end solid state drive, then you're going to get slower read and write speeds. Now don't quote me on this, but I did a little bit of research. And it seems that most SSDs top out at round about 550 megabytes per second on the read and 520 megabytes per second on the write speed. And three SSDs that fit into that sort of speed category are the SanDisk Extreme, the PNY Pro, and the OCZ Vertex 3. So those three sort of fit into that speed category. There is also a new OCZ Vertex 4, it might be an Agility 4, but the speeds on those vary depending on what capacity you buy, so it's a little bit more tricky to decide which ones are buying that range. And if you buy a lower capacity one, there are a lot lower uh, speeds than what I just quoted there. Now I did find one other drive which has a slight speed increase. It's a Corsair Force GT and that's coming in at 555 megabytes per second read and 525 megabytes per second on the write speed. But don't forget these are optimum speeds. You're very unlikely to achieve that because you're probably gonna have some sort of bottleneck in your system where the bus that you're connecting them to can't operate at that full speed. But if you're looking for the fastest SSD, they may well be faster than this, but the Corsair Force GT seems to be the one that's coming in as the fastest. Now you can get SSDs that are like soldered to a um, PCI Express card but I don't really put them in the same category as this but they may well perform better if you're installing them into a PC system. So great question again. I'd be really interested if you can leave me some comments below and let me know if you run an SSD in your system, how long you've been running it for, if it's been performing nicely any sort of reliability issues, that'd be really interesting details for me to go through. So please do leave me some comments on that. And also, if you've got any new questions, please leave them in the comments section below as well. So great question. Thanks very much for watching this Q&A session and I will see you all in the next one.